Hi, in this lesson we will be seeing about ETCC patches in Oracle Business Suite. First we will be seeing what are ETCC patches. Then we will be seeing how to run the ETCC patches and how to apply them. So what are ETCC patches? Remember that ETCC stands for the eBusiness Suite Technology Code Level Checker. So what is exactly ETCC? So ETCC provides the list of recommended patches for the technology stack. So what is technology stack in eBusiness Suite? In database, the technology stack is only the database server that is RDBMS. In the application tier, the technology stack includes WebLogic server, Oracle Common, Web tier, and 1012 that is forms and reports. So these are all the part of the eBusiness Suite technology stack. So the ETCC as the name suggests the technology code level checker, it gives the recommended patches that have to be applied on all of these components. There will be two scripts provided by the ETCC. One is check db patch.sh and check empty patch.sh. And you have to run those scripts, one on database, on the application tire. And when you run those, it will give you an output which recommends you the list of patches that have to be applied. And remember that ETCC patches are strongly recommended to be applied every quarter or whenever you are applying any major patches such as ADTXK or release updates. In fact, ETCC patches are mandatory before you apply any latest patches such as ADTXK or release updates. So how do you get the latest version of ETCC? You have to download the patch number 17537119 from support.oracle.com and once you get it, you have to download it on database and also the application tire and run check db patch.sh on database and check empty patch.sh on application tire. Then you have to download all the recommended patches and start applying them. When you are applying these patches, remember that these do not usually include any application tire patches. So this is not applicable. These are not really ADOP related patches. All the remaining things are obviously part of ATCC. So if you are applying the patches on web tire, you have to use opatch. If you are applying on forms and reports, you'll use opatch. Database also will use opatch and common also will use opatch. But on web logic, obviously you'll use BSU. So these are different tools you have to use to apply ETCC patches. I have actually kept the latest version of ETCC patching in a blog, which you can find it here. So you can refer to all the commands and also the screenshots available here in Vishnu.ae. Now let us see how the ETC scripts have to be run. For example, here I have basically set the environment of the application tire. And what I'll do now is there's a script which is provided by default on vision instance. And that is located in Oracle Home AppCital ETCC. So here you can see that there is actually check empty patch.sh. So what I'll do is I'll copy this folder to let's say here. I'm sorry. And I'll go to this location. You can see etcc folder here. Now what I'll do is I have already set the run file for file system environment. So I'll simply run check empty patch.sh. So provide the details of your database apps user. So now if you observe carefully, it is checking on the application tire. What are all the required patches to be applied in each of the homes? For example, in 10123, it is saying that it has checked already forms and reports. Now it is checking the web tire. In the meanwhile, I'll open one more session and I'll try to run the script on database tire. For that first, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go to my DB Oracle home. I'll set the environment and I'll go to AppCital ETCC and I'll run check db patch.sh. Remember always you have to get the latest version of the patch as I told before, you have to download the latest version of the ETCC and then run 
I am running it right now directly because I've already got the files. You have to download the latest version in support.oracle.com. So it is now checking for, it already checked for WebTire, Oracle Common and WebLogic. Now it is checking for the WebLogic. So if you see here, it is saying all the required one-off bug fixes are present in Oracle Home. So that is the reason it's not listing any additional patches that have to be applied. Similarly on the application tire also if you see all the homes have the latest versions of the required patches. You can see all required one-offs are confirmed as present. So which means in my case I did not apply any other patches. So in the example which I told in Vishnu.ae you can actually have a look on how I have applied the latest version of ATCC patches.